Uh, in my career of the last 35 years or so, I have been working uh, in close association with Professor Ms. Swaminathan in any capacity. One as a student of IARA, where uh, he was the professor and the head of the department and director. And then subsequently, uh, after he uh, opened this institution, uh, this organization here, uh, we have been in touch with him on many uh, aspects. Uh, generally related to those uh, where we have uh, not been working with the research priorities uh, because of uh, our orientation to different uh, aspects, which Dr. Swaminathan being fully aware of those uh, shortcomings or limitations in our uh, national system, introduced this connectivity with the farmers, connectivity with the ecology, and dealing with uh, revival systems for the uh, very harsh environments or uh, to an extent uh, fragile ecosystems so that they don't break down and then keep continuing to provide the sustainable use of those resources. Uh, this is something which was fascinating. And in fact, I would say it was, to me personally, uh, was something of a courageous step which only a person like Dr. Swaminathan could have taken. I would not have been uh, that venturesome had I been in his position to establish a system with uh, no uh, direct uh, link or continuity to the research which uh, I have been doing before I am thinking of opening this situation. That's something which makes him unique and uh, unparalleled uh, in his orientation. So that was uh, fascinating uh, to keep watching. And then uh, slowly because of this experience, uh, we could venture towards getting to the farmers, talking to them, looking at their needs, and then accordingly tailoring our programs, and then making them participate in it which was all something unheard of uh, before he started this organization. So that is something that makes us uh, thrive uh, for the betterment of farmers, for which we look forward to uh, Dr. Swaminathan as a role model. Now that uh, the success stories have clearly established the use of connecting to the uh, ecosystem with uh, farmers as part of the ecosystem, and then the uh, livelihood systems on which they have been surviving, whether it is from fisheries or from animals or from crops or any other uh, system uh, as integral to the development, uh, I think Swaminathan Institution should make it as a national priority, not limited only to the coastal ecosystems, uh, because there are more harsher, uh, more fragile ecosystems in the hills and uh, other such uh, locations in the country out of the 25 uh, or 24 different agroclimatic zones, and that too uh, in different uh, temperate, subtemperate, and subtropical, and heavily uh, tropical conditions in the country, whether Western Ghats or Eastern Ghats, uh, and then the Northern Hills and the Northeastern Hills. So these are all things uh, which are not covered as effectively connecting to the people uh, in the national system because of the priorities. So this uh, Dr. Swaminathan's uh, group can uh, extend with the experience that I've had in the past three decades. Uh, then another uh, important thing which I believe Dr. Swaminathan Institution can do is now to focus on the most often uh, talked about the limiting factor of use of molecular biology and biotechnological interventions to really uh, look at uh, those points which Professor has been highlighting as those which can be considered for risk assessment and establish the safety and after establishing it what should be the next course for the fastest adoption and adoption of those uh, technologies by the farmers? That should be the second one. Right now, only points have been uh, picked up. Uh, they have been highlighted uh, without uh, the necessary research which uh, Dr. Swaminathan Institution can do best. Of course, there will be infrastructure which has to be put up. I suppose a proposal of this kind uh, might be put up to the government of India on this aspect because not many institutions are doing it and that links and connectivities for the uh, farmers and other systems with the other institutions which you have are so ideal to undertake this responsibility only with little more strengthening of infrastructure for that purpose. So that will be another big service uh, for the coming years because gene genome editing uh, is one uh, easy technology that has come forward. Uh, of course, it is a biotechnology intervention. There also you will require some kind of uh, transformation that has to happen uh, and then before affecting the change. And in some, some cases, we have to bring in new genes, as the Professor himself has uh, highlighted all the time, how saline tolerance has been brought from mangroves to rice. So those things have to be encouraged, and this is the best place to establish the safety of such uh, when it is consumed as a food item.